Good morning and welcome to the frosty Sunday morning here in Northern California. It's about, or it was about 35, 37 this morning. Tons of fog. We don't have any snow like a lot of the country has. So I don't think we're going to have a white Christmas here. But those of you who are having a white Christmas, I'm thankful for your white Christmas. It's always been something that every Sunday, every Christmas morning I would wake up as a child and hope that it was snowing out. All right. So it is the 20th of December and Christmas is just five days away. Let's sing Joy to the World. Jesus Christ. Sing we now Christmas. Noel, the king is born. Noel. 
next to the last verse where it talks about um, the wise men being uh, guided by a star. And as many of you astronomers out there uh, know uh, this morning in the uh, western early morning hemisphere, early morning sky, uh, there appeared not to the naked eye, you needed to have either uh, binoculars or a telescope in order to see it, but two planets uh, were like one right in front of the other, creating a, quite a brighter light than usual. And many people refer to it as being just like the Christmas star, um, but I beg to differ. And the reason that I say this is because many of you have asked me about it, and so I'm, I'm sharing it with you. Uh, the Christmas star could be seen by everybody in the whole world. And it was a bright, bright, bright star that could be seen by the naked eye. It's believed by astronomers, those who try to figure out what's going on in the Bible scientifically, uh, that it was a convergence of three planets which created the bright, brightest star, the Bethlehem star. Either way, the star happened, and everybody saw it, and it announced the birth of Christ, and it brought the wise men. The wise men had studied and studied, knowing about this announcement, and the star was indeed a sign that they knew it was time to start traveling. With that, um, the pastor's sermon this morning is out of the uh, book of Isaiah. 